Hi guys and welcome back. So this time I'm gonna be teaching you how to change the view so we can animate our, um, our 3D object. So first off we're gonna implement um, a key listener. This will enable us to see what buttons are being pressed on the keyboard. So we're just gonna import this and then add unimplemented, um, unimplemented methods. So now I'm just gonna remove all these so we don't waste too much space. So now um, here we're gonna check if uh, any of the arrow keys are being pressed. So if e dot um, get key code equals key event get key sorry the key left. So if we are pres pressing the left button, we are going to change our view um, from variable. That way we are changing our perspective we are looking from. So here we go view from, and then when we change the left one, we're going to change the x value, then minus. We're going to do this the same for all the other errors. So right, going to say plus, and then right and then up we are gonna say the y value same here for down and then plus plus um, and another thing we need to add when we have this key listener we need to actually add it here so we write add key listener and then just type this in these brackets and then the last thing we need before the key um, key presses are being being recognized. We need to say set focus up and then true in here. So now our keys are being pressed, but our deep uh, our polygons aren't really updating because they only updated once we started this. So I'm gonna make a new function in here called void update polygon. And in here I'm gonna take all this and then paste it in here. Um. So now, uh, what we need is um, so in here we need we create a new polygon with this class. We need to change it so we we have this this old polygon. We just edit it. So we need to save this number somehow. So I've already made the integer poly set it equal to zero. So in here. I've already done that as well. We set the poly equal to the um, the screen number of polygons, so we can save this this specific uh, polygon and tie it to this 3D polygon. So down here in the update polygon, instead of writing screen dot number of polygons in here, we're gonna write poly. That way we we change our specific uh, polygon. But remember when we call this function new polygon object we said we're gonna increase the number of polygons by one. We're not gonna do that here because we're just changing it, we're not adding another one. So we're gonna s write screen dot number of polygons minus minus. That way we won't get any errors. So now we can update the polygon. Also I've actually changed this, before it was just 200 times this, now it's 500 and then a small, smaller number times it. Um, that way it'll be smaller and censored in almost the middle of the screen. So now we're going to call this update polygon. Just gonna call it in here. Gonna use our D poly for now. D poly one dot update polygon. So this is gonna be updated. I'm gonna put it down here. Gonna update the polygon and then we're gonna draw the polygons. So let's see if it's going to work. So now I'm clicking the left and the right buttons. As you can see there are still some errors, it jumps once in a while. But I'm going to fix that sooner or later. So as you can see it looks fairly 3D. Doesn't, doesn't uh, behave quite as we wanted it to, but it's, it's not uh, the 3D calculations aren't exactly done yet. I have more to add to them. But I'm going to make this 
a, a 3D object instead of just a triangle. I'm gonna try and make a cube instead. That way we can get more 3D, 3D view. So let's do that. Let's go in here in our screen. Close this. Um, and where we are making... Actually, actually these D polygons, I'm gonna put those in a in a in a array too, so static D polygons uh D polygon cool to new um sorry this needs to be polygon polygons equals new D polygon just gonna make it a hundred long as well and then down here I'm gonna call D polygons and then the first polygon. So something's wrong here. Mm. Not quite sure. I'm gonna change this to up here. Oh, and it fixed itself. Great. I'm just gonna do the same here. I'm gonna call D polygons zero instead. So now we just move this uh, polygon object into an array instead. So now I'm gonna start making the cube. So first off, I'm gonna have the uh, four points instead of three, um, and the x value is gonna be zero, two, two, and zero. The y values will be then be zero, zero, two, and zero, uh, and two actually, and the z values will all be zero. This is gonna form the button of the bottom of the uh, the cube. This should be a triangle at the z0. So, sorry, a, f a, a square at the z0. So I'm also gonna m do this for the top. I'm just gonna change the z value. Uh, so I'm just gonna change it to 3. Oops. I'm gonna see... Actually, we need to run a loop here instead. Um, we're gonna do the same w what we did for the normal polygons as we're gonna we're gonna do that to the 3D polygons. So we're gonna have this static number of polygons. We're gonna have number of 3D polygons. And once we create one of these, we're gonna say screen dot number of 3D polygons. Then increment that. Uh, I just need to save this. Okay, so now I'm gonna run a loop here like I did with these polygons. A number of 3D polygons instead. And then Y here. So now it's gonna update all the polygons. So I'm gonna run this and see if it makes something that looks a little like a cube. Yeah, you can see if you look at this, this is the top and the bottom of a cube. So I'm going to make these sides now. And then that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Next tutorial I have I've finished the sides and you will see how it's all going to look.